Hey, what's up everybody? We're here with the Creality CR10 Smart. Wanted to give an update on the Green Goblin helmet. So, it had to stop. It stopped right when it was almost finished, but it's okay. This has happened before. It stopped right when the nose was printing out, and what happened was the filament snapped. Uh, let me pull this out. So, as it was printing, it was already way up here. There was pretty much this much of a gap and it was just printing in midair without any filament being extruded. And it was because of the filament. Uh, this was a black filament that I had put in a bag and for forgot to seal. And it was like the only open black filament I had. So during print, it pretty much snapped. So there's filament still in the Bowden tube. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the run of the mill change out. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how to take out filament that's stuck in your Bowden tube. And then I'm going to pretty much go uh, into the slicer software and slice whatever part of the nose we've got here um, in the model and just print that and stick it on. There's really not that much left. Uh, it was just the teeth, a little bit of the teeth left. And hopefully we can get that repaired and ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear the filament here. First things first, I'm gonna turn on the Creality CR10 Smart. And once it's on, I'm just gonna go to prepare. I'm gonna go over to set temp and preheat PLA. And what I wanna do with preheating it is, I wanna make sure that whatever might be stuck on the nozzle here, on the inside, it's ju it just gets unstuck. So actually I'm gonna go back to home and just watch the numbers here and make sure that once the nozzle reaches 200, I can go ahead and yank out the, um, the filament there. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this blue clip here with my fingers. And what we wanna do is when we pull it out, just make sure it doesn't go flying. What we wanna do is push this black ring in while pulling the Bowden tube out. And as you can see there, that's the black filament that's stuck in there. We're at 200 degrees, so I'm just gonna start yanking this out with these needle nose pliers. As you can see, it's coming out there. All right, so that Bowden tube is nice and clear. And hopefully the nozzle on the bottom here is not clogged. All right, now I'm gonna replace the Bowden tube here and same concept, you wanna push in that black ring while pushing in the Bowden tube. And once the Bowden tube is in there, place this blue clip. I'm gonna yank this black ring as out as I can to lock the Bowden tube in place and replace that blue clip. And there you go. All right guys, just so I don't run into that same issue again, I'm gonna open up a brand new packet of overture filament black this should do the trick all right beautiful brand new spool of filament large amount and always remember to just cut at an angle here so that it's nice and sharp you cut it so it's nice and sharp so it goes in to the hole better so now i'm gonna feed it through this filament runout detector use my trusty tweezers to guide it into the hole and with the Creality CR10 Smart it tends to get stuck right there doesn't want to pass through the extruder here so what I like to do is I like to close it and start pushing it in and out as many times as I can as I'm opening this so I'm going to slightly open it open it and it still didn't go through. And this is usually done simultaneously. Uh, so I'm gonna need both hands. I'm gonna put the camera down. All right, I was able to get it in. So I'm just gonna stick this through. And sometimes it does it, it just gets stuck there. So you just have to kind of jiggle this like up and down and up and down while kind of pushing this through. And we can see that the filament is being extruded. And I know this thing is ready to continue printing with a brand new beautiful black spool of filament. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the helmet off of the Creality. 
And I'm gonna do my best to get this helmet off of this glass bed as safely as I possibly can. As you've seen with my video, as you guys seen in my taking off prints with the hammer video, it takes a hammer sometimes to release it from this glass bed. So there's that. Well, this raft is always helpful to have when you're taking off a print off of your glass bed or off of any bed for that matter. And I'm just gonna bring this guy in here and just go all around. And hopefully it doesn't get stuck like it just did. And this part is really stuck. Let's see if I can get it from the front. Maybe I can also try using this metal one here. I don't suppose a hammer would work in this situation. Well, this thing is stuck to say the least and we have to figure out how we're gonna take this guy off of here it seems like it's just stuck right there it's really close to coming out though all right guys and here's the result we got a lot of support material over here but that's okay i'm gonna go in and take that out at some certain point but right now the main goal is to get that nose and the rest of the teeth printed out so i'm gonna go on into maya there and get that cut up and make sure that lines up really well all right guys see you in the software all right guys we're in maya and what i did is i went and i accessed the part of the mask that i printed out and we're just going to go ahead and cut a piece off the piece that's actually missing now what I went ahead and I did is I got my 75 to 300 millimeter lens. I took a picture of this at about 75 millimeters uh, of the 3D print. Uh, and it gave me an orthographic look like it is in this orthographic side view. And here's that picture right now. And I just went ahead and I took this orthographic picture so that I know where it got cut off exactly. And there's also a piece here that got cut off. Now that that's in as an image plane, I'm going to scale it. I'm going to actually go ahead and rotate this so that it's laying flat. More or less, that's what we're looking at. I'm actually going to bring this forward, lower the alpha gain so I can see through it. And I'm going to try to match the image here. I'm looking at this area, making sure that what I want. It looks about right. Just make sure it's as accurate as possible. I like that result. So we're just going to have to cut this piece off like this and get it as clean as possible. All right, now that that's matched, I'm going to go ahead and cut this as best I could. That about looks right. All right, now that it's cut, I'm going to hide this image plane, see where I cut it. And I'm just going to grab all the faces there. I'm just gonna go in and make sure all those extra faces that are really close to that line are also picked up. There's some really tiny ones in there. All right, now I'm just gonna give it a quick double check, make sure that everything was straight and picked up. All right, we're good to go. And from there, I just extract the faces. It did the function it needed to do. This was all that remained in the print. There is one extra piece that I need to cut out, and it's this piece here. As you can see here in the image plane, this piece got cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna slice just this piece off. I'm just gonna cut it along there. So these are the pieces that didn't quite print out, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this whole mesh, fill hole. Do the same with this piece and this piece. Now I'm just gonna make sure that we got all triangles here. So I'm gonna to go to select, use constraints, next selection, go into face mode and select end sided because we don't want the end sided ones. Those are all end sided geometry. I'm gonna triangulate all that. Same with this one, go to the face mode. That's the end sided. And I'm just gonna go mesh, triangulate. All right, close and reset. We're ready to take these into Cura and Creality. I'll see you there. All right guys, we're here in Cura. So I'm gonna bring in that small piece and I'm just gonna print it like that. 
I'm gonna make sure the wall thickness is at 1.2 so that's what the rest of the helmet was printed at triangles is fine 60 millimeters a second is fine I'm actually gonna slow it down to 55 and slice it all right that's only gonna take five minutes sweet all right now we're here in Creality slicer this is the piece we need to print everything looks fine I'm actually gonna change this to triangles 50 millimeters a second is fine got the 1.2 and raft is fine all right slice that all right this is going to take two hours and 53 minutes i'm going to go ahead and save that out and we'll get this thing printed all right what's up everybody so we are here starting to print on that little piece for the mono price and we've started it here and the bed looks like it's already ready to go and here is the green goblin helmet and overall it came out really nice there was a crack in it as i was cleaning it I ended up building up right there if you can see it um, I ended up super gluing it and it super glued quite nicely and overall I'm really happy with the result it ended up stopping right there as you can see but that's what the uh, Creality is printing out now and there's a piece right here on the edge that broke off as I was cleaning the supports as well and that's what the mono price is printing now when those pieces are ready to go we'll meet up again and i'm just going to super glue them on and get the other pieces for the green goblin helmet started all right guys talk to you when the print is finished all right guys so the nose and teeth finished out printing here on the creality cr10 smart and it's looking really nice it's looking really clean looking good also there was this part here um, that had broken off while i was uh, taking out the supports and so I printed that out on the Monoprice Mini Delta it took about eight minutes and I super glued it on I'm gonna end up using some of this wood filler here to patch up all those ugly spots all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece off hopefully it comes off nicely there you have it all right let's get it on here oh that's looking real nice there's a little bit of a little bit of a seam here but nothing too too bad it can be fixed yeah overall it's a good little fix i am very happy with that all right guys i'm gonna get this glued on we can call this piece dunzo all right guys i'll see you when i start the next print and it's gonna be piece two out of seven and i think that's gonna take about two and a half days to print all right guys until next time peace love Enjoy.